Hi friends, by now you might have understood that artificial intelligence is a vast subject and uh, definitely I cannot cover all of it in a single video and doesn't make sense at all. But don't worry, what we can do is we'll cover all of it or at least I'll give you an overview of all uh, in this short video. So stay connected and I will tell you what all comes uh, under the umbrella of artificial intelligence. If I have to sum it up what all things comes under the umbrella of artificial intelligence there would be eight different divisions uh, that we could talk about. First and foremost would be data. Obviously, data is the backbone of artificial intelligence. So basically, and that's nothing but the raw facts about the real world. So using this data, analyzing it, sharing some insights out of it, using this data for um, machine learning purpose, using this data for any other uh, insights. And mostly when I talk about data, I'm talking about the structured data, which is in the form of your rows and columns in terms of Excel, XML and things. So this entire uh, data uh, domain in itself is uh, nowadays called as data science and the language that is being used is Python language and a lot of things are happening in this area a lot of uh, people are using especially in IT ops uh, kind of uh, domain uh, there is a lot of uh, information a lot of logs which is getting maintained uh, at your outages log and other things which is uh, humanly getting difficult to manage but uh, through this domain a lot of things and with the help of the other one which is machine learning I'll talk about it a combination is actually doing great so that's the first thing uh, which is also called as data in AI uh, the second one, uh, if I have to talk about now the unstructured data. So unstructured data, you have your audio files. So one of the best uh, example if I have to give is uh, nothing but your Alexa. Okay, so how do uh, it interprets your audio uh, voice commands? So basically what happens is uh, when you give a voice command that gets converted into a text, the text is basically used by the AI system. It interprets, it gives back the response in the form of text and again it is converted into a voice um, response and it comes back to us so basically this is more about uh, this is also called as natural language processing uh, where uh, it's more about communicating with the machine the other area of uh, natural language processing is about your language translation that's another uh, area uh, sometimes uh, companies like Amazon, they use uh, NLP basically to analyze the reviews that customers have posted and accordingly rate and recommend uh, the products. Now coming to the third part of the data, if I have to talk, is uh, we were talking about uh, images and videos. So the question comes, can computers see? Um, the answer to it would be yes. Um, not in real but definitely through cameras is the answer and uh, whether it is video or is, uh, whether it's uh, just the image processing um, there is a complete domain which is called as computer vision which comes into play now you'll ask me video and image coming together yes because videos are nothing but different frames of images uh, tied up together so all your CCTV cameras, wherever your um, pictures are getting captured, whether it is on your government sites and all. So all this data is available and this is where it is used as part under the uh, domain of uh, computer vision. Moving ahead, the machine learning. Machine learning, uh, again, uh, it's a very... Uh, useful and very frequently used in case of uh, AI system and it is nothing but it's about making machine to interpret comprehend and process uh, the data uh, which is fed into the system through whether it is an instruction given to it and uh, uh, 
or maybe data fed uh, to the system other part of machine learning or maybe i would say a much more deeper one would be your deep learning where again um, high dimensional data is actually used and uh, with and also it is based on the concept of neural network now what is neural network so if you know we our human brain has neurons and uh, just the way uh, decision is made uh, uh, via our brain something of similar is trying i mean we are trying to mimic through deep learning um, some of the use cases for deep learning would be your facebook uh, face recognition uh, that is based on this the other one if i have to talk about is your self driving car that's another use case where uh, deep learning is uh, being uh, where we have to provide a lot of detailed da data um uh, to the system to actually work that precise so it's it's quite comprehensive uh, domain in itself the other one uh, expert system i have already spoken about that in between uh, the winter period expert system is the most basic one which came into play expert system uh, is based on a rule of if then else uh, which means that uh, it was assumed that human brain only work um, based on the rule of if then else like for example if it rains we will uh, take out our umbrellas and so on and so forth so but then that's not the only unidirectional way that human brain works um but that was uh, the thought and that's why it is called as more uh, basic system but based on this uh, rule there were multiple layers of rules which were created and a very complex structure which was not much sophisticated and it required a huge infrastructure support uh, at that time. other one i already spoke about is robotics the manufacturing industry was the first one to actually uh, have the first uh, robot named as unimate and it was nothing but an arm picking up things from one a uh, place to another by general motors the other one uh, last one uh, but not the least is um, a little bit advanced is something called as fuzzy logic now what is fuzzy logic so fuzzy logic is based on the principle of degree of truth uh which is uh, completely different than the normal logic of your like a boolean logic and uh, it is a little bit complex and it is mainly used in um complex implementations uh, in terms of like medical field if we need to diagnose something uh that's where or and more from a decision making uh, point of view but uh, that's in a nutshell if i could give you a birds eye view on what are the different uh, domains of uh, ai uh, i hope you liked this video and uh, at least it might have given you uh, a clue uh, like um, for you to actually take a decision like which is the division or the uh, domain that you are interested in and uh, would like to explore more with that thank you so much have a good day and stay safe